today I'm watching Goosebumps episode five. This is a two part episode continuation from episode four with the summer camp. There's this creature running around the woods. The kids are all terrified. It's definitely not a summer camp I would want to go to. It's giving me very much Friday the 13th vibes and this creature is taking out kids one by one. We've already lost Mike. Colin was hit in the head with a baseball. The staff don't seem overly concerned. This Uncle Al character and Larry, who just seems to be the worst, don't seem very concerned about what happens to the actual campers. I was definitely terrified of this show when I was younger, so I'm trying to be brave and finally watch it. It's definitely spooky and it has its moments for sure and it would have terrified me if I actually would have watched it when it came out. I like the anthology style and I haven't read any of the books so let me know in the comments how true the episodes are to the books or the chapters or whatever they're based on and I know there was a few other similar style shows that came out around this time so let me know in the comments if you think I should watch those as well but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for tv shows you think I should watch please comment below and if you want to have a say in what movies or tv shows I watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. I also love the disapproving billboard lady at the intro as well. She turns and scowls as the letter passes. Ah. Larry, you jerk. Will they meet their demise? Dun, 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 dun. Such suspense. Of course, it's Larry. If you've seen The Big Lebowski, you'll get the Larry references. You guys went to the forbidden bunk? That's totally against the rule! They got Roger! Everyone was screaming! I can't take him seriously in that sleeping bag. <laughs> you shouldn't have gone to the forbidden bunk? Wait till I tell Uncle Al. He is gonna kill you. I think that's a literal comment, yep. If Saber doesn't get them, frickin' Uncle Al will. Ew, is he just eating raw meat? Ew, gross. He's not here. Well, where is he? None of your business! I'm in charge, you got that? Worst case scenario. On losers, you're going to the lake. How can the guy who runs the camp just disappear and leave this guy in charge? Oh my. My head sure feels better. Forget your head. What about Mike and Roger? Maybe their bodies are rotting away in a forbidden bunk right now. That's a possibility. Gruesome. But cue the forbidden bunk. Payphone's like melted? What is this? Oh! I was just trying to make a call. To your parents. Just to say hi. He's like, you're never allowed to speak to them again. <laughs> well, that's not gonna be much use, is it? <laughs> I put it up as a joke. How is that a joke? Up here, we're miles from anywhere. Are you homesick, Billy? This guy's got a twisted sense of humor. Let's let the kids believe they can call home. Yeah, he did. I checked the files. There is no camper up here named Roger. Watch the- No middle name. No Roger. They're just erasing him completely. Same with Mike. Get to the lake, Billy. Just like that, he never existed. I'm sure his parents won't inquire. Yeah, nothing to follow through there. Oh, you better watch out for Jason. <laughs> Jay, Colin. Hey, Billy, get a paddle, swim on out! Where do they think they're going with this paddling? This terrible technique. It doesn't fit. Just tie it on or something. Put this on! That's not a life jacket. Oh, man! I'm going in. What are you talking about? You want to go under too? Larry? No, Larry! Why is he stopping him? Get out of here, Larry! I was back at the lodge. Very subtle. Always trust on Larry. Nad. Oh, that's how sleepaway camp starts. Dun 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 dun. Also, a summer camp movie. Not 
no running on the dock. It's like, oh, I got a stitch. Oh man, I'm out of shape. Oh, I better take a minute. Take a knee. Whoa, trombone shot. Didn't see that coming. Whoa, that's cool. It's like a wildebeest or something. What the frick is this thing? Hello? Uncle Al? Where is everybody? Was the lake a secret time portal? Oh, shoot. I was never here. Whoa! Upside down camera. That would be terrifying to be the only one alone at camp. And just like that, he solved it. Quick outfit change and he's ready to take on this creature. It's like all I needed was a new pair of shoes and a baseball bat. Are we supposed to believe this creature killed everybody in camp? Even Larry? It's all their letters. Aww. Lily! Dawn? You okay? What are you doing? What's she doing here? It's drownings. Remember Dory? The girl you came with. Yeah. We went on a hike and she got mauled by this bear. Oh, that's graphic. It's the same thing at the boys' camp. What's that? Mauled by a bear. Oh my god. I wrote this the first day I came. Are those Elvis stamps? The lights out. Come back soon. I will. I promise. Anything for you, Don. And Colin and Jay are that's all. That's enough. This is not the time. It's like, I've never heard of those kids. It doesn't bother me. Hand them out. One weapon per boy. What is this? Shut up, Billy. Why are they giving them all weapons? What? I said shut up, Billy. Are you saying we're supposed to shoot her? That's what I said, Billy. She That's graphic. No, this is They're gonna hunt this girl down. Or do you have a problem with that, Billy? Do you have a problem? Whoa, the tables have turned as the camera lifts up. Roger, Jay and Colin drowning. Mike, Jay, Colin, we have no campers by those names. What is going on? Do we have any boys with those names? Never heard of them. George? Nope. No. Well, if George doesn't think so. Or you are going to be very, very sorry. No, I'm not. Don't do it, Billy. Don't do it. Wow, oh, dramatic music, slow mo. Oh, good night, Uncle Al. Congratulations, Billy. <laughs> he passed. Billy passed. <laughs> passed what? This is horrible. And now he's all nice to him. Oh no, he passed. <laughs> what sick place is this? Dad, what are you guys doing here? I think I'm going crazy. No, you're not, sweetheart. It's like we set it up for you. Oh my god. What are you talking about? This is not a summer camp, Billy. It's a government testing lab. Well, that's nightmare fuel. And that snake bite was nasty. Rubber snake. Had you going for a while, didn't I? This is all just a ruse to see if this guy would defend his friends. All one piece. <laughs> one piece. Oh my god, that's horrible. What a cruel trick. Working at the lab. <laughs> you guys were amazing. So amazing, I'm never setting foot in another summer camp again. Oh, look who it is! Is this thing real? <laughs> He's gonna pull off his mask any minute now. Oh my god, George! Classic George! Animatronic. Whoa. Get his close up. Where are we going? Very far away. A place called Earth. Research tells us the aliens there. What? What? They're not even on Earth. You never know, Billy. You never know. What? Come on. Now he's safe to travel to Earth because he passed these tests at summer camp? Oh, man. That's not where I thought that was going at all. Definitely an unexpected twist. I'm glad all his friends didn't die, but man, his parents have got some dark ideas. 
So that was my first time watching Goosebumps Episode 5, the conclusion to the two-part episode from Episode 4. This Welcome to Nightmare Camp summer camp series. That was definitely not how I thought it was going to end. We've seen twists before in this show, so I was kind of expecting something. I thought Uncle Al and Larry were going to be in on it, which they definitely were. I didn't realize everybody would be in on it. The kids were starting to drop at a rapid pace, and, and there's drownings, and they runs into Dawn, and she says, oh, my friend was mauled by a bear and like all these horrific things are happening. They find this bin with all these camp letters that were never actually sent and it seems like everybody's disappeared. Obviously this whole situation was orchestrated just to test Billy which seems very elaborate and extreme and now his prize is that he gets to go to earth with this dangerous research experiment his parents are involved in. I wasn't also expecting them to be on another planet. We don't know what planet they're on. I don't know that we need to but the fact that he said at the beginning, you know, my parents are scientists, they're gone a lot and, you know, that didn't seem out of place but now obviously we find out that actually makes a lot of sense and to see his parents like with this big smile coming out of the woods like, yeah, we did it, like you passed, congratulations. They're obviously excited they don't have to leave their kid behind which I'm now just realizing would mean on another planet, not like stay with grandma for a few months. No, they're leaving him behind and obviously this planet looks exactly like Earth's so we had no reason to suspect otherwise. The only thing is he said the air smells weird here, but I don't think that's anything. And the entire camp, the kids, the staff, everybody is in on this giant setup for Billy and they're paid actors from this government agency and Billy had to prove himself basically by proving, you know, he's courageous and that he has quick thinking and can take down snakes and, you know, stand up to his friends, which again, are situations that could happen on Earth. I don't know what part of the planet they're going to, but still the fact that they're like, what test can we put him through that will prove that he can handle himself on Earth? These are the situations they came up with. A summer camp where there's possibly a werewolf, you know, in the woods. It was cool to see that animatronic creature and like the behind the scenes of it, but in the show and to hear the actors say like, oh, we're actors. I always enjoy when they kind of have that, you know, play in on a show. And the fact that you know, the final test of this challenge was to shoot Uncle Al with this tranquilizer. I was very worried when he started handing out weapons. I was like, this has already been a dark episode with these kids being killed off and nobody seeming concerned. And now he's handing out weapons. But obviously we find out it's to prove that Billy can stand up for what he believes, even if everybody is telling him he's crazy. So, and to show that he like sticks to what he believes in and we you know we'll fight for it. It was just so bizarre to see his parents like congratulating him for him shooting another person with a tranquilizer. Usually that's not something we reward, but obviously Uncle Al had his own motives. Other than the creature, there wasn't really many, you know, special effects or anything like that or makeup. But once we saw the animal up close, it obviously wasn't as scary. They did have the shot of like its big sharp teeth. But again, seeing it behind the woods, obviously you would be terrified because you don't know what it is. And the fact that they only created, you know, half the animal, which is why we never saw the full thing and why I was out during the day if it's supposed to represent a werewolf. All I can think of is the trauma Billy is going through with having these people he met at camp that he thinks are their friends and the effort that goes into creating this huge setup just for him. Like there was dozens of people there and everybody's just playing their part. It felt very like Truman Show meets Friday the 13th almost. Like those people were just pretending to be his friends, but obviously he had to deal with the traumatizing experience of, you know, Mike being killed off, his friends drowning, all of these horrible, horrible things happening that weren't real and they were just playing this elaborate setup on him. Like that's horrible. That's going to do some damage for sure. He thought that that had happened. He thought that was real. And how can you like trust your parents now? This was their whole big scheme. You know, who says they're not going to do something similar on earth? Definitely an interesting concept for a kid's team. TV show as well, having the summer camp with this, you know, forbidden bunk and the creature. I thought that's where we were going. Obviously the twist at the end and then the twist on top of the twist of finding out they're not actually on earth. Definitely an interesting show for kids. And like I said, I'm glad they put the energy into making it creative. I definitely have to check out some of the books and see if the episodes are exactly like they are in the books or if the TV show takes some creative liberties. I don't know how many books there are. I know there's a few movies that have come out and some remakes of this show as well. 
and I'm glad they gave it the space for it to be a two-part episode. I feel like this would have been a lot for one episode, and we probably would have lost the emphasis of the ending. We needed some more events to happen just to make it seem even more, you know, elaborate that they put all this time and energy into setting this thing up for Billy. And that does make more sense why, you know, Uncle Al was singling him out so much. And obviously there was no phone because they didn't want him to call anybody because if he had gotten through to somebody other than his parents who didn't know that this was the setup, they would have been very worried. Overall, an interesting episode. Definitely an elaborate ruse to test your kid's ability for survival on Earth, as that's their end goal. We have no idea what the actual experiment the parents are doing, because that's going to be a whole thing. This is just like the precursor until they actually go. Super creepy. I would definitely be skeptical of going to summer camp after this, especially trying to trust my parents and thinking they're going to you know, jump out of the woods and tell me it's some elaborate government plan. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. I also love the disapproving billboard lady at the intro as well. She turns and scowls as the letter passes. I can't take him seriously in that sleeping bag. <laughs> if Saber doesn't get them, frickin' Uncle Al will. Just like that, he never existed. I'm sure his parents won't inquire. Yeah, nothing to follow through there. Mauled by a bear. Are those Elvis stamps? Watch, they're not even on Earth.